This is a general love reading for all Libras for January 2020. Keep in mind these messages are very general. They're not going to resonate with everyone. Um, please do not make it apply to your personal situation. So Libras for January 2020 or also too, this could happen at any time. But the first card that you guys have is Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And then below that, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Um, for your angel answer card, you guys have compromise. I feel like you guys always get that card with the skills, the compromise. Um, for your energy oracle cards, you guys have the number 51, which is healer, healer of the ages. And healer of the ages means like health, um, vitality, um, basically healing. And in the number three, which is blossoming abundance. So blossoming abundance, that is... Blossoming Abundance number three. So that is an increasing wealth and value. So that could be your personal value or actually actual um, money or wealth or even your health also too. So um, Libras, for some of you guys, I feel like this is like for someone who's already in a commitment. This could even be a marriage. But it's like somebody wants to have children here. And with this playfulness, it's almost like somebody's trying to have children this um because it says to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine this could also be for like an older couple too maybe um well not really like older i mean it could be both older and younger but it's like somebody's trying to have children here with this playfulness but either you libra or maybe the person that you guys are dealing with someone's Maybe wearing a false self mask in a relationship. Maybe they're saying that they don't want to have children. Or even for some people, they could be saying they can't have children. So this that's like some sort of deception right there. But somebody wants to have children. So it's like this could be a burden um, in the relationship. Because somebody wants to have children. So it could be affecting... Um, the relationship or your love life. Um, this could be a past life relationship. Some of you guys could have reconciled with someone from your past. This could be like a new person or someone that you don't know or maybe you, you're going to meet them. So this situation is calling for you to have faith because it seems like it's a good connection, but it's just like maybe somebody's lying about not wanting children or maybe they're saying they can't have children. But um, somebody is going to need to compromise or both of you guys are going to need to compromise and just balance some things out in the partnership. It's like just come to a mutual agreement um, within the partnership, maybe possibly about children. And somebody could also too be lying about having children too with this deception. But I do feel like somebody's like trying to have children here. It could be like a couple trying to have children. Um, give me one for playfulness. Give me one for playfulness, please. Yeah. Mm hmm. So we have the Ace of Cups. This is definitely like somebody's trying to have children right here with this Ace of Cups. Or maybe they had, um, somebody just had a child. But I feel like, um, or it's like if you are trying to have a child, you're going to have a child with someone. And maybe there's going to be deception here somehow. But with this Ace of Cups, this is definitely like somebody's having a child. Um, yeah, then we have the page of rods at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be having a, a, a fire sign child or um, somebody could be having a fire sign child or they have a fire sign child, a younger child. 
Um, give me one for deception. 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 Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is definitely some sort of deception. Maybe um something happened within the workplace with this deception. Also, too, somebody could be um saying maybe maybe they don't want to have children because of their work or something. Maybe I don't know. Is something going on with work here? Maybe they saying they don't make enough money or I don't know, but somebody definitely wants to have children here. And also, too, for some of you guys, you could have been in a partnership. It could have been a past life relationship or it could be a past life relationship and you find out this person has children. And then we have the page of swords. So this definitely is like children here. Um, somebody could have a air sign child also, too. Could be a Gemini. Give me one for children. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to take that one because the way it flew out. Give me one for children. Yeah, so I I think I said that somebody um feels like children would be a burden. And the Ten of Wands popped out. So this is definitely some sort of burden. Or somebody could actually be pregnant with a Ten of Wands. It's like somebody's um like basically carrying, like having a child. Or maybe um Oh, also, too, somebody probably can't have children because with this healer of the ages, this is like someone's health and vitality. Maybe having a, ch a child right now will be like too much on their body for um, like it won't be healthy for them to have a child or something. But it's like I'm looking at this 10 of wands as like a labor or something. Somebody going into labor with this 10 of wands. But for some people, it's like maybe having a child right now would be a burden. And it could be because of their work. Give me one for past life relationship. Give me one for past life relationship. Okay, so we have the chariot card that popped out. So this is some of you guys could be done with the cancer with this chariot card that popped out. Also, too, this could be, like, somebody coming back to, um, no, some of you guys are dealing with the cancer with this chariot card. This is, like, somebody you had a past life relationship with. I'm going to do one for, um, this trust. Give me one for trust, please. So we have the Queen of Rods. Okay, so <sighs> this Queen of Rods could like symbolize as like a mistress with this Queen of Rods. It could be a fire sign. But it's almost like somebody may be thinking that maybe their partner is being deceptive at work, or maybe they they think that um maybe their partner is being too playful at work. Or something. They could have felt like that person had like a mistress or something. With this queen of rods. But it's saying that this, this situation called for you to have faith. That could be like for two different people. But the overall message. It's just basically like somebody wants children here. But either you Libra or your partner. They feel like children right now would be like a burden. So it's like somebody needs to, um, well, you two need to compromise. And then we have the emperor card at the bottom of the deck. So it could be because of this person's work or something. Maybe they just feel like right now children wouldn't be a good idea. It would be too much of a burden. And also, too, it could be mainly because of someone's health. Um, for some people, this could be like for someone who is older. It's like maybe an older couple or like maybe 
one person is older, one person is younger. It's like somebody wants children, but it's like maybe that will be too much right now because of their health or their work. But with this blossoming abundance right here, I feel like somebody is going to have a child with this blossoming abundance. It's just like um, the way I'm looking at it right now with this, because um, it's, it's, it means increasing wealth and value. So this could be because someone's trying to increase their finances also too. But for some reason, I'm like looking at it as like blossoming abundance, like a child or something. So that could be for somebody. Um, so I'm just going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully these messages help someone out. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any readings.